guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, welcome to a full week of eating intuitively. This week I'm not going to be tracking any calories. My fitness pal is, I haven't deleted it, it's still there, but I'm not using it. Yeah, for this whole week I'm gonna try and intuitively eat and I'm very, very excited. I'm also very nervous, so I'm going to be like showing you guys exactly what I eat and just taking you for my week. Does it work? Like, how do I feel? All of that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's what today's video is going to be. I'm very, very excited. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and comment down below some strawberries because I've got some strawberries on my breakfast this morning. And if you've never watched a video of mine before and this is the first video you're watching of mine, hello, my name is Louise. I used to be morbidly obese. I was 269 pounds and I'm five foot seven. I decided I needed to lose weight for my health and I lost 120 pounds in just over a year. I maintained that weight loss for over a year before deciding to compete in a bikini competition. And I basically competed in the transformation category and the bikini category and I won the transformation category. So whoop, whoop. now I'm basically in the reverse diet kind of stage and I'm just feel like I need a break from tracking. I've tracked for a very, very long time and I feel like I can use the skills that I've learned over the, over the course of over two years to eat food, listen to my body, honor my hunger, honor my fullness, honor my cravings, all of that kind of stuff uh, that is all intuitively eating. I've been listening to loads of podcasts. You know, just trust my body and trust what I've learned. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. So hello. <laughs> and also I just wanted to do a quick disclaimer as well that as always, as all of my what I eat in a day videos, I'm not telling you guys to eat like me or anything like that. This is just what I'm eating and what I enjoy and yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my breakfast. So I'm obviously not tracking calories, but I weighed out the oats to the milk because I like it a certain way, if that makes sense, like the consistency. So I did 50 grams of rolled oats because I am um, wanting to eat a lot more this morning. I woke up hungry. And I have 250 milliliters of almond milk and I microwave that for like three minutes and that makes it a perfect consistency. I've got double chocolate whey protein powder, some strawberries, a sprinkle of cinnamon and then this piece of chocolate on there. It's the salted caramel 70% cocoa and for one square it's 68 calories so it's really good and then on the top of that I've got Skinny Food Co strawberries and cream syrup zero calories it's gluten free fat free vegan friendly sugar free and no added sugar and also i've got to say that in the oats i've mixed in chocolate peanut butter flavor drops and skinny food co they are zero calories as well they come in a wide range of flavors so you can switch up your oats with different flavors and they are zero calories as well so it's, it's really really good and then obviously i've got my cup of coffee here with my skinny food co hazelnut praline coffee syrup zero calories and all of the good stuff there as you can tell i really love it that's why it's running out <laughs> i had this chocolate because i saw loads of people doing it on instagram and stuff and i was like oh i had it on my french toast oh look at that i had it on my french toast that right, was barium it's so nice it's nice to have a bit of chocolate in your breakfast because it's more filling than just having it on its own and um you get that like satisfaction which is with the intuitive eating thing but yeah how i'm going to measure the progress of my intuitive eating this week isn't necessarily going to be whether i lose weight gain weight or maintain my weight like my weight isn't going to be what defines it as a success or not because because I am post-show, my body might want to gain more weight. Um, it might want to lose weight. It might want to stay the same. So if I'm listening to my body, my body will should be able to do what it wants to do. So I'm not going to really... I'm at a point in my, my place where I'm not scared of gaining a little bit of weight. That's not what I'm going to be worried about. But I will post at the end of the week, so at the end of this video, a screenshot of my weigh-ins for this week. So I'll weigh in every day or every other day. Just just to document my weight, because I know that people want to see that, basically. And I guess I kind of want to see what that happens as well. But I'm going to try not to let what the scale says influence my decisions for the day. I'm going to more listen to my body. But for me, what will be successful is being able to eat the whole week without tracking any calories. Not just use it as an excuse to overeat and eat whatever and just go crazy, if that makes sense. Like, I want to be able to this week, without tracking without that control of knowing exactly how many calories I'm having, still be able to fuel my body in a healthy, nourishing way, but also include 
foods that I, I'm craving at the, at the time without feeling like I have to overindulge, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm measuring this week's success for. I love this oats, man. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, get the kids to school and go to the gym. I did forget to say that today's video is actually sponsored by Skinny Food Co. Skinny Food Co, Skinny Food Co, you guys know I love Skinny Food Co. If you guys would like to order any Skinny Food Co products, because you'll see me eating lots of it throughout like this whole week basically, because I love it and I eat it every single day. It makes my diet enjoyable, I love it, I'll never stop having it basically. So if you guys want to have a look and order some stuff from Skinny Food Co, I'll leave the link in the description down below. And you can use my code Louise20 and save 20% on your order. So thank you so much to Skinny Food Co for sponsoring today's video. We had a little pit stop to my favourite place, Nando's. I normally would get just the mixed leaf salad and the chicken butterfly, but instead I got rainbow slaw as well, which I've never had before, but the regular one is only like 100 calories, and they've actually started putting the calories on the menu as well, like everywhere, so it just made it easier to pick, make healthier choices basically, um, so I know some people don't like it, let me know what your thoughts are about calories on menus, is it good or bad? I personally think it's a good thing, it helps people be a little bit more accountable and make healthier choices basically, but this was banging, look at that, just sipping on my Coke Zero. Stopped off to get a coffee, I've got a black Americano with skimmed milk on the side there, some sweetener, for me, I think to be honest, that's enough milk, that's quite milky, and then I've got the Skinny Food Co, salted caramel barista shots, you can get them, take them out with you, because obviously you have a nice coffee on the go. Yeah. Still a low calorie, I think I probably put a bit too much in there. Low calorie coffee. Uh, banging mate. And then we'll go get the kids in it. So here is my dinner. I have got my cauliflower rice, green beans and chicken with Nando sauce. Yeah, I'm really hungry. I've just got back in for my walk. At the CAF, Rashan got a chocolate brownie and I had a very generous bite of it. By gen very generous bite, it was basically almost half of the brownie. <laughs> And I've had a jammy dodger as well. You know, like the raspberry one. It's not not the raspberry, strawberry one. It's the pink packet. Yeah, my son was having some, so yeah, I had one of them as well. So, and I've also had uh, a few jelly pots, the no added sugar jelly pots. I just like to snack on them. Nearly ten o'clock, and I have just finished a cup of decaf coffee that I have made my overnight oats for tomorrow because I feel for overnight oats. I used obviously my chocolate protein powder and then on the Greek yogurt on the top, I used cocoa powder as well in there just to make it chocolatey. And then I also used the English Toffee Skinny Food Co flavor drops. Obviously they've got so many different flavors. So I just felt to switch it up a little bit by using a bit of toffee in there. And then I've got frozen strawberries and raspberries on the top. So I will have that tomorrow with sprinkler cinnamon. And then I've used the last of my red velvet cake flavor syrup from Skinny Food Co. This is also zero calories. I love it. Red velvet cake. Oh, love it, right? Monday completed because I don't feel hungry, so I'm not going to have a snack or anything. So I'm going to put this in the fridge. And yeah, that's day one done. I feel like smashed it, mate. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Watch me make a coffee. I add coffee, add some sweetener, and then you get some hazelnut praline, cap full in there. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Zero calories. Yes, please, mate. Yes, please. Hey, let's get some almond milk, shake, shake, pour, pour. Do we weigh it? No, not no more. <laughs> Mix it all up and that. And then I sort my little pre-workout out, half a scoop, or just over half a scoop, in my Harlan Last Time Shaker, shake, 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 ready for the gym, mate. Look at the oats, look, overnight oats, mate. This is like food porn. Look at that, banging. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> It honestly tastes like a cheesecake for breakfast. I love it. Just going from the gym and I'm actually like really hungry. So I've made a cup of coffee uh, because I haven't got time to make lunch yet. Do you know what? I set my new kettle. I had to get a new kettle because the one I had, you know, the lid at the top, I lifted it up and then the handle popped off. So yesterday we went and got a new kettle. So that's my new kettle. Ah. But anyway, I made a coffee. But yeah, I'm going to be filming a video. I've got to film a video in a minute. I'm not going to have time to like make lunch or whatever. I just want to get the video done first. But I'm actually really hungry. So I'm going to honour my hunger. And I'm going to have some yogurt and fruit and stuff. So this is the yogurt I'm going to use. It's the fat-free Greek yogurt from Lidl's. 0% fat one. It's the one I used on my 
overnight oats last night as well. Put some in there. I don't want too much because I'm going to have lunch. I just need, like, you know what? I think I'll just have the rest of that, to be honest. Might as well, yeah. We might as well just have the rest of it. I say I don't want too much. But it's, I've got another yogurt in the fridge anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to. So I've put like that much in. It's quite a bit. I'm just going to sprinkle some sweetener in there because fat-free yogurt tastes like a bit rubbish on its own. I'm going to use the Skinny Food Co. Marzipan Flavour Drops. Yep, just chuck some of that in there because otherwise fat-free Greek yogurt, it just ain't the one. Oh, the marzipan flavour smells proper nice, like it's proper banging. And then I've microwaved this, it's frozen fruit. It's the Black Forest Berries or something from Tesco, frozen fruit. I just poured some in there and microwaved it just so it's like not frozen. I microwaved it for like a minute, so I'm just pop that on top. And then I'm gonna use the Skinny Food Co White Chocolate Krispies. They are only 95 calories per bag. They're like little rice crispy things. They are high in protein. So for 95 calories in a pack, you get nine grams of protein, which is quite good. So this will add a bit of crunch because I feel like I'm gonna need a bit of crunch in there. So I'm gonna use the white chocolate raspberry syrup from Skinny Food Co, also zero calories. So just put that on top. And that, guys, is my... So that's my yoghurt snack, guys. Look at it. This is holding out. I still haven't finished it yet. Um, but let's try some of this yoghurt because I'm really hungry. And it looks so nice. We'll get the crunchy. Bam. All right, I'm going to sit down and have this to do my video. And then I'll make lunch. But... Turn on time, mate. For lunch, I've just grabbed two normal wholemeal pita breads with the Skinny Food Co. pizza sauce. It's a low sugar, uh, gluten-free sauce. It's really nice. And then wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Look at that. Beautiful lunch. Two pizzas, some chicken breasts on there, some veg, side salad with some garlic and mushroom Skinny Food Co. sauce, mate. Mate, that is banging. Mate, yummy. I was proper feeling for like a pizza. With that garlic and mushroom skinny food co sauce. On there. Banging, mate. I'm alive. Oh, my days that nearly fell. Literally, I've been craving fruit so much. And for some reason, I've been craving like a fruit kebab, right? Because it's been sunny, but then today, like the sun has gone now, so fun times. But I still wanted to make it. So I've made them. Uh, I don't know what I want to have. Oh, literally, I'm not even going to lie you. When I was cutting the mango, I ate more mango than we ended up getting on the capacities. <laughs> but it's so hard to cut mango, man. But it's delicious, though. I don't know why. But. <laughs> oh, I lost the mango. It feels like it's going to break. Oh, it's definitely going to break. Sir. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> I don't know, right? I've got pineapple, mango, grape, banana, strawberry, easy peeler, satsuma, mango. That's it. I wanted to get kiwi, but I forgot to pick it up. I don't know if we put apple and pears on there, but actually, it's like it's your kebab, mate. You can put what you want, so next time we'll put you down. I literally have just been addicted to fruit. We've got dessert for everyone. Everyone's got that. I've got like, fruit for dessert, mate. Bang it, mate. Mm. Fruit is good for you. Don't be scared of fructose. I hate it when people say that to me. Just got in from my walk. I think I had like five of them fruit skewer things. They're, they're mate. They are fruit kebabs, fruit skewers. Mate, they are so nice, like literally banging, mate. And obviously when I'm out, I don't like take my camera. I didn't take my camera. So it's kind of hard like when I have like little nibbles of things and that. But Rashan had cheesy, garlic cheesy bites from McDonald's. Mate, they're actually so nice. I had like three of them. They're so good. Like the garlic cheesy bites, just like this. So I'm frying this in some fry light, of course. But this is like a stir fry bag from Iceland. So I'm just using the whole bag, frying that. Because I feel like that's going to go down quite a lot, if that makes sense. Like, it's not a lot of volume. I've got some bean sprouts to add in there. So I'm probably just chucking a handful. So it's just sliced chicken breast. So I'm going to just chuck that in there as well. It's already like defrosted and cooked. But I'm going to chuck it all in. I might have one or two bags of cauliflower rice, depending on how much this makes. And then I'm going to mix in the Skinny Food Co. Chinese Fake Away Sauce. It's sugar-free and... For a 10 milliliter serving, it's four calories. 100 milliliter serving is 40 calories. Obviously, I'm not counting my calories, so I'm just gonna squirt it all in, but it's a good 
you know, alternative to make a nice Chinese. I love this sauce. And it's also gluten-free for anyone that needs like gluten-free, sugar-free. So I used probably most of the bag to be fair. Um, I did eat some from there as well because I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> and then the green sprouts that I'm just left. I just chucked them all in like that. I decided to use just one bag of cauliflower rice and I think that's more than enough to be honest. Um, but it feels weird like not weighing it and tracking everything so like, yeah. but just go by my eyes. I trust my eyes now. It's actually, oh I miss some veg. It's actually been really nice not having to like track everything if that makes sense. Like I, I felt like yesterday, today isn't as weird but yesterday was weird because like I kept going to go on like every time I made coffee. I went to go on my fitness pal and I was like, oh wait, I don't need to do that. <laughs> it's just such a habit for me to track. It's my dinner, I'm gonna go and eat that now. Happy Wednesday guys, good morning. It's time for breakfast. I have got my oats. I'm not actually that hungry this morning so I decided to go for 40 grams. I am still weighing out the oats and the milk just so I can make sure, I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. So instead of 50 grams, I felt for 40 grams. I don't actually feel hungry this morning, like really hungry. I feel like I can eat, if, if that makes sense. Um, and especially as I'm gonna be going to the gym and stuff after I drop my son off to school. So obviously I'm gonna eat breakfast but I've already had a coffee this morning as well. This is my second coffee. But yeah, and on the top I got strawberries and I went for that chocolate, oh, can you see that chocolate in the middle? That's gonna, that chocolate cube in the middle. And then in the oats, I went for a cookie dough flavor drops from Skinny Food Co. And on the top, I've got the strawberries and cream syrup from Skinny Food Co as well. And obviously my coffee with there's a tiny little bit left of that hazelnut praline it's, it's it's lasted a long time so if you see it melts on the top a little bit or it's not fully melted yet but when it melts and you can dip the chocolate in there oh like that look you see oh look i think that's like my favorite part of it is like it melts in and you can dip the chocolate in that was a really good training session. I trained upper body and I hit so many like new personal bests. I've been feeling so strong recently, even though I didn't really get a good night's sleep last night. So it's pretty cool. But I have been taking, I have started taking creatine again because I was taking creatine and then I feel like peak week and stuff like I just stopped taking it. Uh, there was no reason why I stopped taking it. And then like after show and stuff, I just forgot to take it. So I haven't been taking it since like the week before peak week or whatever so i've started taking it again this week and i have my essential amino acids and now i'm having a big salad so happy days that's what i'm eating i wasn't hungry like i were not really feeling that hungry this morning and then like as soon as i finished training i got home i just ran we got like proper hungry and i was like oh i need to eat some food and i was making um my son like his little plate and he had like some you know the ritz crackers yeah they're really nice i had a couple of them because while, while I was putting it out because I was like so hungry whilst well, so I was like you know so I've had a couple of crackers and now I'm gonna have my big salad with obviously my big bottle of it guys I just made the protein donuts that I've made before I have actually made the protein donuts um on a video so go check that if you want to know how to make that but these are Greg Doucette's anabolic donuts and on my days I've got the powdered sweetener sugar thing but I made the protein donuts and I'm gonna have one with a coffee I finally finished the hazelnut praline we finally got to the end of it I'm, I've got a salted caramel one in there now but in the filling of this donut in the recipe I use the honey vegan honey from skinny food co <laughs> Vanilla cheesecake flavour drops from Skinny Food Co. And then the sugar-free jam from Skinny Food Co. Well, 93% less sugar from Skinny Food Co. I love this jam, right? I'm telling you, you can use it on anything. like Obviously on like toast and stuff, but I like to add it in yogurts. But it tastes banging in this, um, in this donut. These donuts are like 200 calories and like 15 grams of protein, roughly, I think. So it's proper sick. And in a 20 gram serving of this jam, it's seven calories. So it's banging. I'm going to put the rest of the donuts away in the fridge when they cool down and then maybe I'll like, have one tomorrow. Like I could just savour it, right, so I can have one a day. But mate, I remember I had like Mommy, one after the other with this. I'm going to Mommy, I'm Mommy, come here. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> mate, look at that. It's banging. I'm going to go sit down, sort this kid out. I have my coffee, but banging, mate.
And Apple all day keeps the doctor away, and I also had a pair too. So I'm feeling extra, extra hungry. So I am having loads of green beans. There is broccoli in there as well, the long tender stem broccoli uh, in there somewhere. There's three packets of cauliflower rice. And obviously I pre-cook my chicken breasts. They're all like already in the fridge. But I've got two because they're quite like small. Right, they're not like massive ones, and I'm feeling really hungry. What I've been doing is like I've been sitting down. I've noticed that I used to, I normally always like have a video playing and stuff, and I'm quite distracted when I eat. So I am trying to like listen to my fullness cues, like stop and like think about whether I'm getting full or not. Most of the time, I do finish my food, and then I'm like, okay, that's fine. If that makes sense. Like I don't actually. There's only been a couple of times where I've stopped, and I'm like, okay, I, I don't need to eat anymore. Because normally I, I just eat a little bit, but you know, we're learning. <laughs> we're learning to stop when we're full. So, guys, we actually have a little bit of a breakthrough, right? Look. I didn't eat the chicken breast, the second chicken breast. I only ate one because I finished like everything else and then I went to go eat that one. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm actually full, right? So I stopped. Normally, if I was tracking my calories and I'd already tracked that in my fitness pal, I would end up just eating it just because I'm like, it's already tracked. So I would just like force myself to eat it because it's there. And I have like this clean my plate mentality where I just want to like, it's not finished basically until I've cleaned my plate. But I'm going to put it back away and that can be used tomorrow. Right? <laughs> I think you can reheat a chicken breast twice. Yeah. Oh. So guys, I'm having a uh, Halo top ice cream but i think this is like 80 calories oh my f that looks so dirty i didn't realize i forgot that the nail popped off my nail popped off i look like i've got some poop finger like what's going on that actually looks so next uh i was like this like i got the uh, i don't know like it popped off but i feel like they haven't been on long enough for it to just pop off it's so annoying it's literally so annoying and it popped off like a fake nail that you get from primark like funny story to tell you guys I bought the sea salted caramel halo top ice creams. I was so excited to like have one when I got home. And I remember I even come back to Tesco and I was like, should I have one now? And I was like, no, I'll save it for after dinner. This was on Sunday. And then Rashan put the shopping away and it was the evening. And I was like, I can't remember. I opened the cupboard and I saw the box in the cupboard with the cereal. And I was like, what the hell? Oh, I literally got so upset. Yeah, and I checked it and it was all melted. And like, I, I, I get so emotional over food, like I literally had tears in my eyes like I was about to cry over ice cream. And then, yeah, so he bought them back for me, basically. Uh, and the chocolate gooey brownie ones. So, and they've just been like since Sunday, and it's Wednesday, and I'm only just having it now. I'm actually finding not tracking my calories easier than what I thought I would. I don't know what I thought, like I don't know what the anxiety was behind not tracking my calories, if that makes sense. Like, I think it's just tracking my calories every single day for like two years. Anytime like where I haven't tracked my calories, I've used it as an excuse to overeat. So I kind of thought that that would be the case if I didn't track my calories. But giving myself like a whole week of not tracking my calories, I'm just listening to my body, if that makes sense. Like. And I'm not worried about gaining weight as well because I feel like I'm a first diet in any way, so I'm supposed to. Where I actually enjoy healthy food now and like whole foods and I have my meals that I actually really like. Where I enjoy eating more nutrient dense food, like fruits and vegetables. I didn't like them before, like I didn't really have any education before on like how to cook. <laughs> Just through your mouth like this over the ice cream you know what i mean like i actually enjoy yeah. eating fruits and veg now whereas like before i didn't and that's why i was overweight i didn't i just was always used to have eaten like more convenient food i feel like it's going well so far but we are only on wednesday i have woken up really hungry this morning like i'm actually like, mm, i might actually be a bit thirsty i have drank some of my vimto but anyway i'm making my oats and it's leg day today so I need some energy because I'm training with Pete, so he's gonna push me. I, I just know he is, so I need energy. So I'm gonna have a banana. So I've made like the oats there and put the protein powder in and then I'm just gonna chuck in a banana, basically. And I feel for strawberries as well and I've got these left, so I'm gonna have the rest of them in there. I'm gonna have some almond butter on there. And it's gonna be a bit random because I also feel for some, some jam, some skinny food code jam in there. 
Um, I actually need to put the flavour drops in there actually before I put this in there because I need some flavour drops. I feel for the Skinny Food Co banana flavour drops because I'm thinking I'm going to have some banana in there. So I'm going to chuck some Skinny Food Co flavour drops in there and just give it some extra flavour, mate. Give it some extra flavour. But I thought while I'm making this, I would explain to you guys why I'm doing this in the first place because I don't know whether I actually, in the beginning of the video, went through why I'm actually decided not to track my calories. Ooh. Banana flavour drops are so strong. It tastes like a banana milkshake. It's proper nice. Tracking calories is a really good tool for weight loss and for weight gain or just learning about food in general. Like, I learn so much through tracking my calories. I changed my whole lifestyle through, ch through tracking my calories and, like, I know what's in foods and what's nutrient-dense and what feels good for my body and the calorie content of food. Like, I more understand portion sizes and like what foods are gonna fill me up and when I'm really hungry, like what foods are lower calorie and filling and more nutrient dense, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Like I did learn so much through calorie counting, but the idea isn't to calorie count for the rest of my life. Like I don't want to have to live by tracking and weighing every single gram and using my fitness pal forever. Like I don't wanna do that forever. So that is that has always been the goal to eventually start to intuitively eat. I'll show you guys, like, I'll do that so you can see my bowl. I don't want to have to track every single gram all the time. And and I shouldn't have to, if that makes sense. Like, I've been tracking every single day for two years, basically, over two years. Weighing and tracking my food every single day. And I just feel like I can do it. Like, I can do it without tracking. Another reason why I've decided to do it now out of all of the other times is one because I've just come post show and if I gain a little bit of weight it's not a big big issue I'm supposed to gain weight anyway two the reason and the main reason why I'm doing it right now is because I have struggled a bit post show I, I struggled with the reverse diet I will be honest like when I come out of show I went on to 1600 calories to start off with as my reverse diet. I could go like the whole week on that and then by the end of the weekend, I would go out for a meal or something and then I would use that as an excuse to like massively overeat and basically binge because I felt like I couldn't control it. And obviously I was at like such a low body fat, very, very hungry, hung up, post show was worse than like on prep. And there's not a, like a goal of going on stage and you know that you're supposed to gain weight anyway so it's just like like I just use it as an excuse to overeat and that happened for like a couple of weeks like then I would go back to my reverse diet and then by the weekend I would have an off-plan meal a meal that I didn't track and then it would just lead to me eating loads throughout the whole whole of the day and I kind of noticed there's a pattern like as soon as I would have an off-track meal I would use it as an excuse to kind of eat loads and that's not a healthy mindset, like, to have, if that makes sense. I'll always like to think, like, as soon as I notice, a, like, an unhealthy mindset or something like that, I like to address it. And I tried by, like, increasing my calories, and that kind of helped with the hunger. But I think just, I just need a break from tracking my calories, basically. And I was listening to loads of intuitive eating podcasts and stuff, and I was just kind of like, you know what, I can do this. And, like, it just made me really want to do it and really want to try and just prove to myself that I don't have to track every single calorie I can listen to my body my body will like I can trust my body now just because like before when I was bigger I've always kind of thought oh I, I've never been able to intuitively eat because I got that size but the thing is like I had no education around food I didn't enjoy eating healthy foods and it's not it was just more because I just only ever ate like processed foods like takeaways and stuff and I didn't know how to cook I didn't know what meals I liked. like I just didn't I didn't have that education, if that makes sense, that I do have now with tracking my calories. I actually crave fruits. I actually crave vegetables. I crave that kind of stuff. So if I do have like a chocolate bar here and there or a burger here and there, I'm active. I lift weights. I walk a lot. Like, I feel like I could just trust myself, basically, to, to be able to do it. So that's why I'm trying. And I thought, instead of just doing one whole day, let's do one whole week. Let's chuck ourselves in. So that's why, with my peanut butter, I think I'm... It's not peanut butter, it's almond butter. I'm definitely going to weigh it out. I'm not tracking, but I'm going to weigh it out. With nut butters and stuff, it's so easy to just, like, underestimate it. So, I'll do, like, what I would normally do would be, like, a teaspoon. 
but that's 11. I'm going to do 15. Okay, 15. See how little 15 grams is? It's actually crazy. I'm going to chuck on the Skinny Food Co Jam just a little bit. It's so random, but I just, <laughs> I'm really craving for it. And then the Skinny Food Co White Chocolate Raspberry. I told you it was random, but that's what I feel for. There you go. That is my breakfast. I'm going to go and eat that. And I've got my coffee. And this, today we have got the Skinny Food Co Salted Barista. Salted Barista? Salted Caramel Barista. Guys, I just got in. I obviously did my gym session. And then I went and got my nails done. I got the acrylics taken off. And then basically just shellac. So sorted them out. But it's like 12 o'clock now. So I'm feeling a bit hungry. But I need to like get on with some housework before I make some lunch. And I want a protein bar. But I can't choose between these flavors so we've got the skinny food co uh this is the toffee crunch flavor and we've got the skinny food co birthday cake flavor i want a bit of both but i don't want to eat like two protein bars like i'm not like gonna eat two protein bars so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have half of one half of one because they come in like two separate bars um 99 calories per bar and it's 14 grams of protein and then put it in the rag that half of there and then And then put them away. Just mix one whole bar. We've got a birthday cake flavour. I just love the birthday cake. Yeah, toffee crunch, I love toffee crunch. I couldn't pick between one. So I can have both. Because it's separated in two. I love it, mate. It literally is like a chocolate bar with added protein. Yeah, it's low sugar as well. Here's my lunch. Uh, underneath there, there's an omelette, right? There is an omelette and then a salad with mayo and hot sauce. It's a massive plate with... The omelette I had to cut up into four bits. I don't know how people get an omelette done like as like a big one because I can't ever take it off the pan without it breaking. So that's that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, and then like half the plate I've got like iceberg lettuce, cucumber and tomatoes and gherkins. In the uh, omelette I've got mushrooms, spinach, red onion, jalapenos and tomatoes. So that's that. I also had a handful of grapes while I was, um, I said a handful, it was only probably about like five or six grapes, uh, just while I was, uh, making the food because, you know, I got a bit peckish. So I'm just having a anabolic donut with a coffee with the Skinny Food Co Salted Barista Caramel Syrup in there. My son made a, uh, cake, like a coconut cake. It was like just a normal loaf, like loaf cake, if that makes sense. And then on the top, it had like icing with coconut on there. So obviously I had that because, you know, he made it. So, and it was very nice. It was just like a little one. It was so cute. But yeah, it was really nice. So, and now that's made me feel for something sweet. So that's why I want to have my coffee and a donut. Just going for my walk and I met Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Hello, mate. But look, what's something on my top? Oh, oh, that's annoying. I've got green beans there. I've got cauliflower rice. I've got my chicken breast. I just need to heat dinner. I'm going to have three bags of that. I've got my green... Oh, no. Green beans. Loads of green beans. We have Nando sauce. That's what I'm having. So, I'm having a cup of coffee with my Skinny Food Co. Salted caramel. Syrup in there. Say hello to Ashley. Hey! <laughs> Ashley got a carrot cake and she kindly offered me a slice. Can't even see it. Oh, you the light. See it. What's wrong with you? you can't see the frosting, but obviously I said, why not? You love a carrot cake. It's got carrots in there, so it's a vegetable. <laughs> Show you. Uh, I haven't had a proper carrot cake in a long time. Ah, uh, bang him. I think, what is that on the top? Is that like nuts? What is that? Yeah, some sort of nut. It's really nice. But yeah, having that and then. This is decaf. For my oats this morning, I decided to have some raspberries on the top with some cinnamon and white chocolate raspberry syrup and salted caramel syrup in my coffee. Happy Friday, guys. Sorry, the wash machine's on. It makes like a proper loud noise. But I've been to the gym and I did up a push pull today. And then I went for a walk filmed by Q&A. I am very hungry. I've got salmon in the oven. Uh, it's got 20 minutes. So I'm going to have a coffee with my skinny food co salted caramel flavour syrup and I'm having a anabolic donut I've got one more left in the fridge what I do is I, when I take it out of the fridge I 
microwave it for like 20 seconds and then because all the like powdered sugar is all come off then i add it on it on like more on it's like sweetener guys it's like icing sugar it's a cathedral one and it's like no calories basically so it's all good it's like oh it's so nice it tastes really good so i like to like dip it mm, okay I'm telling you, it's so good. So I've got a really big salad here, just my usual salad with some salmon and some mustard on the top. It was banging. So here's my dinner. I've got one bag of cauliflower rice and loads of green beans. I've got some broccoli in there, chicken breast, Nando sauce. And I also have had a large banana and an apple as well. So, so right here, we've got Ashley on the coffee. Ashley's on coffee mission and I'm making some rice cakes with some skinny food co jam. Nothing better. Then having some Skinny Food Co. strawberry jam, or any jam, apricot jam also, on rice cakes, mate. Bang in. Witness the first sip of coffee. Happy Saturday, French toast. We've got blueberries on there. We've got the chocolate on the top. And then the billionaire shortbread Skinny Food Co. syrup. Oh, mate, it is banging. I'm not even going to lie. Look at that. Beautiful. It's like cake for breakfast, mate. Anabolic French toast. Get that protein in. So guys, happy Saturday. Ashley's here. We are going to go for a nice walk, a little nature walk for a bit because the sun's out. So guns out, mate. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> that is a week, although it's Saturday now, obviously. So that was like, what, like five days of intuitive eating. I'm still going to carry on for the rest of the week. And I personally think I am not going to go back to tracking calories, at least for not yet. This week I has gone surprisingly well. I've really enjoyed not tracking. And I will put a, a, a screenshot of my weigh-ins. I weighed myself every single day this week. And I track it on my app, so I'll put it here. And I started at 144.4. My weight basically has stayed the same. 144, 143, 144.8, 144.8, 144.6. And then today, 143. So I'm actually surprised because what my weight normally does is it goes up and down high. Like it has more fluctuations in that when I'm tracking my calories. And I've had muscle soreness. And normally my weight goes up like one or two pounds with muscle soreness, even sometimes three pounds. And I've also started taking creatine which creatine can make you hold water like when i first started taking creatine my weight went up quite a lot and i feel like i'm building muscle like my my legs feel bigger my glutes feel bigger even my shoulders and stuff so that could just be from the creatine it pushes water into the muscle as well but i have been getting stronger my training has been so much better this week because i've actually just been I feel like I've allowed myself to eat more. Like, I feel like I've eaten more not tracking my calories than what I did when I was tracking my calories. I felt full, satiated. I've allowed myself to eat foods in moderation, like that cake. I had a few of, like, the McDonald's cheesy bites. Uh, what else have I had? Oh, I had a bit cream? of Rashan's brownie. Caden's cake when he came back home from school oh, yeah. with a cake. I don't have to track every day. And I, I'm, I actually have got to the point where I've learned what I like to eat, the foods I like to eat, if that makes sense, like I, I can listen to my body. I I know yeah. what it, I feel like I know what it needs. It's only been a week, so you know what I mean. Like, I think I need to give it more time. So what that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it more time. I will keep you guys updated. If you're not already, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Louise's Journey. 2.0 XO. I always leave it linked in the description down below. You'll be able to find it if you have a look down there. But. I will keep you guys updated on there as well. I'll keep you updated in my what I eat in a day vlogs and stuff on here. But like, I just think I'm going to carry on not tracking and see how it goes because I'm, I'm personally really enjoying it. And I, the goal has never been to track calories for the rest of my life. I feel like if I start to gain too much body fat or if I feel myself slipping back into just not really making, filling nutritious meals and just eating a lot of processed foods or going over my calories consistently if I feel like that's what I start to do then I will start tracking again mm. or maybe I'll have a few days tracking a few days not tracking I don't know how I'm going to do it yet I will use calorie counting as a tool if I want to cut a bit on body fat or if like I feel like I'm struggling to build muscle then I need to eat more calories and for some reason I'm struggling to eat more calories which come on now like I don't think I've well we ever struggled to eat more calories come on <laughs> um so yeah that's that's it I feel like it was a success I didn't gain massive amounts of like body fat I haven't overeaten I haven't used it as an excuse I've just it fe it's felt normal I've had my normal eating I have weighed out some foods like my oats peanut butter 
And have I weighed anything else out? No. No, I don't haven't. So. Yeah, so that's it. Just to help me. Like things like pasta and peanut butter, like highly more high calorie dense foods, I feel like I'll weigh out just at least for a little while just so I can get more used to the, the portion sizes because they can add up a lot of calories. But yeah, that's the week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my full week of uh, eating intuitively. I know it's not 100% intuitive, I think, because like... I, think, I would say more mindful it's more mindful eating than intuitive and without calorie counting I wouldn't be where I'm at now so you know what I mean I think it's been a good journey but I just feel like I'm on the next step of my journey to eat like a eat have a normal relationship with food like a normal not having to track every single thing you mm. know I think I think that's that's always been my end goal anyway so I'm happy and I, I consider this a success to be honest but and like I said, really it, yeah, like I said, though, time will be the real, you know, the real judgment of that. So we'll see. But yeah, like the video, comment down below and have a lovely uh, week. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye bye. <laughs>